I'm not saying anything you all don't know out there, which is that Chelsea has had a remarkable uh, story, remarkable, since she first appeared on 16 and Pregnant almost 11 years ago. And uh, as I've been saying, it's been really my pleasure to be a part of this and to watch her and her family and her evolution and her willingness to talk about her struggles. I'm getting emotional. I've not played the video yet. So let's look back at some of the conversations that we've had right here at the Teen Mom 2 reunions. Not all of them were easy or fun, but I think they did all contribute to this evolution that we've seen Chelsea into who she is today. Take a look. You guys break up a lot. No. Uh -huh. In the last 30 days, how many times have you broken up? In the last 30 days? 29. All you see is the bad. And you, within three weeks ago, you guys were broke up and had a huge fight. So we still fight. You're, you're talking okay. out of your ass right now. All right, well, let, let's, let's say that. But nobody thinks they should stay together. What are you thinking, Chelsea? I just don't like being in the middle. Chelsea, uh, tell us what's, uh, what Aubrey's up to these days. What's the latest on her? She's hilarious. Like, I might just think this because she's my kid, but she's like the funniest little girl. She loves doing her hair and her makeup. She's just so girly. I don't know where she gets it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm doing so much for Aubrey. And I didn't get the family. <laughs> so it's just gonna be frustrating when I'm alone and he has family. All we focus on is what I have done wrong and all that. And all you guys focus on with her is what she's done right. People call me a bad father. That pisses me off because I know I'm not. And I don't, I don't have to prove anything to anybody. Okay. I don't owe anything to anybody besides my kids. And what do you think is going on with him? What, what's up with poor Adam? I think he's just an ass. I mean, I've heard a lot of things. I've heard drug use by multiple people, which I would not be surprised. A narcissist. You know, sociopath, everything. He does You've been not. You reading up on that? I have been <laughs> for a long time. I am just old fashioned. Like, I wanted to be a wife and I wanted to be a mom. You know, I wanted to have a family that was happy, you know, have a good, healthy relationship. How'd you meet Cole? At a gas station. What? <laughs> well, because we were pumping gas. Oh, that's what people do at gas stations. <laughs> and I saw him and we like made eye contact and it was really awkward. I always looked forward to getting married, especially someone like this guy. That was good. What makes Cole a great husband? I don't deserve someone like that. You don't deserve him? He's just so good and he's sweet, and he's patient, and just, he's a good guy. This is definitely where I always wanted to be. I always wanted to be happily married to someone great. I truly can look you guys in the eye and say not one bad thing about him. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I truly feel like this year, I have been through a period of growth as a person. You know, mentally, yeah. in, in a lot of different ways. We want one more kid <laughs> in a little while. Yeah. It's gonna be just a little minute. <laughs> He's got a big bite on his cheek, though. That's from Aubrey. That's a bite. That's a... I bite cheeks. <laughs> I bite cheeks. <laughs> I feel like. Oh my gosh. That was... <laughs> Come on. Oh. Right? Come on. That was just <sighs> so emotional, seeing the ups, the downs, just... And also, can we just talk about your hair, the evolution <laughs> of it? <laughs> no, we cannot talk about it. Chelsea, <laughs> I don't want this to be goodbye. Now, with both of you watching that back, what stood <clears throat> out to each of you? Um, you first. <laughs> Cole, go ahead. Just knowing she went through that, thinking, thinking those things about herself, you know, like, you know, if she ever once thought she wasn't good enough or anything, it's just mind blowing because she's beyond. Uh, <laughs> <can't talk. laughs>
We're <laughs> she's beyond she's beyond good enough for anyone. And I'm truly grateful for her. And you know, did you like my blonde hair? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, what would you tell 17-year-old with the blonde hair? You know, just some advice you would share with her now. I would just say that you are good enough and it's gonna be okay. And just keep going because it's gonna be amazing. Well, since this is your last reunion, um, I, again, I just wanna thank you for sharing your life with us, both of you. I mean, yeah. but, but, but particularly Chelsea, I, I, I feel really connected to the experience you had and I know a lot of other people do. We wish you both and your entire family just the best. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank and you. Thank we will you miss you so much for all your advice and um, everything that we've been able to talk about. Like, I know it helped me throughout these years, um, your hard truths and um, everything. So thank you guys. Well, and, and the opportunity to do that because of you helped others. We are going to miss you guys so much. I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay! <laughs> I love my day.